good. We are still in the process of updating pages. Update faster. Chop, 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 chop. Um, so we're going to be doing the two classes today. Which one do you want to start with? Lumberjack or Cavalier? I'll let you guys pick. Dark Angel Olivia, babe. Lumberjack, the Jack, Lumberjack, Cavalier, Cavalier. So we have three. Canada. <laughs> Just because you called it Canada. Right? This is, this one's... Ca Canada is this one, right? If I had to guess. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So, from playing with Lumberjack, there's a lot of things I like about it so far. Um, we have Axe and Harp. Axe is kind of... Not what I'm using it for the main hand right now. I kind of use it more for harp. There's not too many good axes in the game, personally. You have like Anubis axe, Zeno axe. Those are okay. But I find harps to be more viable right now. Maybe just because I'm biased with Rising Force, maybe. But that's what I've been doing with it right now. Berserker, Elysian. I, f <sighs> so I, I don't understand why they have these classes, right? Require other class fours to unlock them. Is they supposed to be like a higher tier than class four? I don't. I, I never got that. You get skill damage, skill damage on the level ups, which is good actually because you do hit a lot of skills right with the um, skill one. All the nukes from it, it's pretty high. What's up, Tam? Which is not bad. What thirty percent skill damage and him healing. The healing is useful. Um, it does have a healing skill. We'll get more into the skills in a minute, but the healing is not bad. Uh, it the cap is low though. From what I've experienced, the cap is not as good as Sage, but it does more than just heal. Boost to main allies attack when. Oh, you get a uh, a boost to your main attack if you main an axe. So. While the class is Axe and Harp, you get a higher stat if you run Axe main hand. Unfortunately, I prefer running Harp, but that's just me. Maybe because I play Dark. So here we have Woodcutter's Song, which is the broken skill. Personally, the skill is ridiculous. In my opinion, it gives you a ton of random stuff happening. So every time you cast... Up to three times, you get a proc. That generally is stackable, attack and defense down. D do we have numbers on it? On the um, stackable attack and, attack and down? D d any numbers on that? On what it caps at? Is it 30, 40, 25? I don't know if anyone like actually tested the stackable. I mean, I could go test it myself, but has anyone done that yet? Or did nobody know what's the cap on the stackable attack down? Uh oh, looks like we're about to go test. This is kind of important. Do you see that meme tweet of 95 million damage with Lumberjack? Yeah, I've seen it. But it was like Kieran, Lobella. I mean, you can do that with a lot of things, right? And it also took 20, 20 years. You didn't figure it out yet? Okay. Maybe we can see it here on Game With. Maybe Game With has it. Let me check the stackable here. 30? Okay, it's 30. You see right there. 30% is pretty decent. Um, 30 stackable attack and stackable defense down. They should put it in the English translations here. It's kind of important. It replaces the majority of units in the game besides like your Lily, your um, Lily, Lancelot, Urius, Tabina, Lesius. The units who have 40 don't get replaced by this, but they can technically. But it's, it's really good. 30 is pretty good. And that's every time, every third skill. It kind of reminds me of Lesia. Like, if you remember, Lesia has the same gimmick, kind of. 
the grand one. Every time you activate three skills, the skill after will activate her, um, what, what is it? The, uh, here it is, Dawn Sky Edge. She gets like a nuke. But it's pretty much that gimmick, but like on a grander scale because you get stackable attack and defense down, a nuke, and you have the rare chance of getting like a uh, CA damage up and CA damage cap up. It's pretty good. You also have the ability to get strength on Ogi, which is really, really massive. And if you're lucky, you can get bonus damage. So this class is very RNG based. How much bonus damage is it anyway? With the numbers, bro, I need to see the numbers on the bonus damage. It's like 15, I'm guessing, though. Bonus damage is... 20%? That's right. God, I was like, I was going to read Japanese. It looks like bonus damage is 20. Yeah. Mysterious stands for Ogi. So the bonus damage is... Wait... Maybe, maybe they don't have it. Mysteri so they have the strength right here. Strength is 20. But what's the own attribute? That's 30% bonus damage? Oh, okay, it's 30% bonus damage. Excuse me. Which is pretty strong, right? 30% bonus damage? That's really, really strong. Now, it's, it's RNG, right? This class is very RNG based with the additional effects, but still. 30% bonus damage on Ogi. That's like a that's like an Opus. Actually, better than Opus. Not only are you getting the bonus damage, you're getting the strength buff too. So, now it's 10% right for RNG. That's not that bad, but it's okay. Is Lumberjack best with Earth? There's no Ellie that's best with right. The classes came out. We can't tell you what the best um, classes I like it with though is Dark actually with Fairy Tarp. It's not bad. Anubis Axe is also an option for Dark. Uh, main character takes damage, heals up to 1k HP, rare chance to heal up a 3k and 2k shield. Now, honestly, you're actually not going to get this healing a lot because of another skill on this class, but the heal, it's not that often. This is cool and all, but don't expect to see this a lot. It's probably the only time you're going to see the heal is if you take an Ogi, maybe. And even then, it may be a little bit hard. Enemy charge attack deals bonus damage and it flicks blind. And if you're lucky, you get petrified for four turns. The blind is actually very big, honestly. Having a free blind... Every time you take an Ogi, it's a free debuff. Like, you don't have to bring Blind or a character with Blind. Blind and Charm are still some of the strongest debuffs in the game. So, having a Blind is really good. Now, we're on to the actual skills. Laughing Logger. 400% elemental damage to a foe. And cap is about 630. Not that bad of a nuke. It's okay. It's not the biggest nuke in the game. It's a very selfish buff, though. You only gain this... 30% critical damage up, 70% chance of critting though. Um, for your main character, unfortunately, which I really don't like that. I kind of wish it was to the party, but it's really only for your main character. The cooldown's kind of low too though. It's five turns, not that bad. The duration is like three turns, which is not bad either. Then you get keen on casting it again, pretty much becoming, this is pretty much Monica's skill, but it's only for main character, which is why I probably don't like it that much. Because it's legit a character named Monica Grand with the exact same skill. To be honest, this is, wait, hold up. Lessia's skill is skill one, practically. Skill Laughing Logger is Monica. I mean, you can even say skill three, uh, Dappling Sunlight, is also a Monica, too, right? They pretty much stole from Monica and Lesia, their skills. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, you get the key with the supplemental damage for main character. I was with party wide. Um, it, if you're running this on wind, you're not going to get much value out of this skill if you're running it with Monica. So to keep that in mind, 
I don't know if the, if the values are higher than Monica. I don't remember. What, I think Monica's like 20% damage cap up. I don't remember. Um, This only heals on the first cast. The veil is on the second cast. If you look at Monica, right? Monica gets... Okay, so it's, it is a lower value than Monica. Monica is... 10 while the other the main character is 15 monica gets healing clarity on her first cast uh i don't know what the other cast give because i never i never hit to be honest i've never hit this skill in my life i've only hit skill three <laughs> skill three and on the rare occasion skill four so this healing see the, what monica doesn't give is veil so it's it's not as good good uh monica skill is not as good as the lumberjack skill because you don't get the veil which is pretty big however you do need to cast it three times to get that veil anyway back to this skill the 10 percent the 15 percent damage cap up isn't that bad um it's selfish you know it's only main characters so while it's good i it was applied to everybody oh well now we're at leaf burning now this is the skill that's going to really conflict with this passive here. Um, you get a 4k shield to main character. Every turn during this shield being up, you get a stackable attack and defense buff. I think it's permanent. If I remember correctly, a permanent stackable attack and defense buff uplift at the end of each turn. That's pretty freaking good. Not going to lie, it's pretty good. I used it in solo, and it's pretty freaking good. While you're getting this stackable attack and defense buff, it's going to make it harder for you to take damage and lose your shield. So, I actually like this skill a ton. It's probably my favorite skill out of all three of them. It's Leaf Burning. Because not, on not only are you applying stackable attack and defense down, you're also getting it in the passive skill. So, it's really, really good. And the uplift. The uplift is, like, free. Like, um, it's extra on top of it, but it's really good. However, the one thing that's a problem with this skill is it has a 10 turn cooldown. It's kind of long. 10 turns is... From my experience, like, you're going to only cast it one time in most content if you're running this class. Um, unless you're doing solo. This class is a pretty good class for solo, in my opinion. So, in solo, you get more value out of it. In normal, like, content, you're not going to get a ton out of it, but you can... You still use it, though. Now we have Dappled Sunlight. Restores 10% of all allies HP. 1500 is the cap. This skill is pretty good. Um, the cap is kind of low on the heal as I mentioned earlier. It's not as good as Sage, but it's still pretty good because it comes with two other things on top of it. Not only is it the heal, but upon casting it again, you get Clarity. And then casting it a third time, you get Veil. And you keep getting all three buffs every time you cast it. So it's really, really good. Every, what, six turns, you get a clarity, veil, and a heal in one button. Now, that's generally going to be turn 12. So it's not that practical unless you're soloing. Not many, con well, not much content in the game goes to turn 12. So it's not really common. Most content generally lasts about five turns in this game. Five to six turns. Oh yeah, you can definitely solo the file with this class. Um, if you have a healer outside of main character, you can solo file with this, no problem. The class is pretty much built for soloing fa if you have a good healer, right? Like water can really use a lot, like use this class for soloing fa high level, I think. Uh it wouldn't be bad for water. Could they have Maria? So the one thing it doesn't give though is like mirror image, but you can get mirror image for other weapons and stuff. But that's my thoughts on it so far. Lumberjack is pretty cool. I liked it. Um, the biggest thing to me is the stackable attack and defense down. I feel that's going to be great going forward in new content. 
because they are, you know, you know how the QBF is, right? They are trying to remove mist as the main way of doing stack of attack and defense down. So having this as attack and defense stackable is really good. Not to mention the other like buffs you get, like the strength buff on Ogi is really massive too. However, some Ogis, like for example, the Zeno Harp, the Water Zeno Harp, what is it called? I don't remember the name of it, but it's, uh, looks like the wrong name, dude. The Water Zeno Harp is not that great for this class because it gives stamina on Ogi when you get it to the highest level. Wait, where's the highest level at? Here it is. So because it gives strength on the Ogi as well, it's kind of like mundane. It's redundant. So you, I wouldn't recommend using this as a main hand for water. You, you run something else. But that's about it. Good class though. And now we're on the Cavalier. It's okay. It's just that the Ogi is like classing, like they get the same buff, right? Lumberjack gives you that special strength buff, so you want to maximize it by using a different main hand. The water, the water harp is thirty and not twenty. Fair enough. But I'd rather just bring a, a different main hand altogether, in my opinion. If that it was me, I would bring a different main hand altogether. Because the stackable is also coming from Lumberjack as well, right? The Zeno also gives stackable. Like, let's see what Harp, um, Water Harp. Let's see if we can get like a Water Harp list here. What options does Water Harps have, anyway? Uh, maybe I should go by Harp and then go by Ellie. Okay, so let's see what options the water axe have. <laughs> that was a failure. Water axe, huh? Good luck. You ain't got no options. <laughs> I guess you're gonna run that Zeno Harp. You have no other option. You have legit no other option. Everything else has a bad Ogi. You might as well just run the Zeno Harp. <laughs> I'm just looking at these options. They're all like bad. They're all bad. Yeah, none of them are good. Yeah. The one thing about Lumberjack is that Lumberjack just doesn't have the best weapon, right? The fact that it has niche weapons in the game, being an axe and a harp, makes it kind of hard for the class to succeed because it just doesn't have good weapons right now. Maybe in the future, but some LEDs are gonna get screwed over, right? Some LEDs are not gonna have the best weapons for the class, but I think the class overall is still good, right? I think it's a good class.